Okay, so we're gonna go over some uh, classic lashing techniques. So there's a few things that you need to know when you're, when you're doing some classic stuff. All right, so the first thing is three things that you're looking for when, when doing classic technique. All right, first one I look for is bases. Okay, lifted bases are no good. And what a lifted base is this. So this is the natural lash, and I'm gonna draw the extension on here the wrong way. This is the base, here's a natural lash. This right here is the problem. Base is lifted. First thing you look for, okay? So if the bases are lifted and you go to brush the lash, they're gonna snag, okay? If the base is lifted and the wind blows or you're sleeping and it gets caught, it's, it's basically gonna snag it caught and then it won't, you have to undo it somehow, it's gonna be tangled, all right? So the next thing, I look for is the um, adhesive amount. Adhesive amount. Okay, so I'm going to show you on a live client how this is how this works. It's hard to show on um, this, and also the model that I'm going to show you on on the base is lifted. So. This, this, this is a uh, too much adhesive. Okay. That's too much adhesive, all right? Okay, the next thing, three, angles. All right, so if we have an eyeball here, okay, and the natural lash is here, when we apply the extension on here, you want to go in the same direction as where the natural hair is pointing. So if the natural hair is here, this is where your extension is going to go. Okay. I've had some people say, oh, go ahead and curve it over to this way because it's nice when it flows this way. Okay. So here's a problem with that that I found. So let's just say you want to have them all curving this way. Right? I'm going to put a couple natural lashes in here and I'm going to show you what curved lashes. Okay. So from here, you're going to angle it this way. You're going to angle it this way. You're going to angle it this way. Angle it this way. Problem with that is when it grows out, gravity pulls over and falls down. So when it grows out, it starts to fall down. The weight of the natural uh, the extension makes it fall down. And then when you go for the relash, they, they come in, lay down, you look at it, they're all laying down, all right? And then you have to remove them all because the angles are wrong. So angles are very key. So what I like to do is go straight up with the lash. So when they do grow out, they're growing out straight, not out and down, all right? So that's that, all right? So this is the base. This is the butt of the natural lash, all right? So you can either go on the top, you can go on the left side, you can attach it to the right side, you can attach it to the bottom. There's four, and the last one is called a hook. So basically, you're hooking the lash around, beneath, below, and around hard to show with my hand and it's hard to show this on that so we're gonna go over to my uh, my model device over here and I'll show you how to do the hooking all right all right here's my eye model so it's hard to differentiate the layers so I color coordinated them so pink is the top blue is the center and purple is the bottom layer okay so the five points top left right bottom and the last hook okay so this one right here is curving to the left so if i attach the extension onto this naturally it's going to point to the left and when we want it this way straight not left and curved so if i hook it points in the direction you want it again here's another one good example if i was attached this one here like this it's going to naturally go this way when i want it to go straight where it's pointed here. So I could hook underneath this way here. It would go the right way. All right, there's hooking. 